Hey guys, I'm doing a, uh, a ball joint replacement on my uh, 1995 uh, Ford F-250 four-wheel drive. And uh, while there's some great videos here on YouTube about how to get down to this point, to the spindle, uh, there wasn't anything on how to get this thing off of here. Okay, so I've taken off uh, the hub, uh, of course, the, the brake assembly, the rotor, and uh, gotten it down to this point, but this thing is a little bit tough to get off once you take the bolts off around the flange. Now, the, the uh, manual tells you to use a rubber mallet or a plastic mallet to work this thing off. Well, you can beat on this until the cows come home, and it's not coming off with that method and mine doesn't have uh, probably as much rust as yours does so I wanted to show you what I found to uh, to remove this <coughs> okay guys here's the <coughs> the steering knuckle from the driver's side here I was showing you the passenger side that hasn't come off yet uh, this one I've already I've already removed and this surface in here 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 are the the studs that receive that spindle, this surface in here mates with the surface uh, on the spindle itself. And you can see there's about a half inch lip there that actually uh, this receives inside. And so you've got to work that out uh, away from the studs in order to remove it. Now, one of the videos. Uh, that I saw on YouTube, uh, someone was using a screwdriver, some kind of a wedge, working it all the way around and really marred up both the spindle flange and the steering knuckle. And you can see that I started doing that here and it absolutely did nothing to, to help remove this. So I'll show you what I did. Okay, so we're back on our, our problem. Spend it here to get it off. And what I've got is a, a, a fairly medium size uh, maul, several pound maul. Now if you beat on this, you're going to ruin your threads, of course, and ruin your spindle. And so what I did is I took a chunk of hardwood 4x4 four four, uh, piece of wood to help protect these threads and this spindle. And you're going to have to give this quite a bit of force to get it off. Now I've also taken some penetrating oil last night around the edge of this flange and from the back of it too to try to get some oil in there. Maybe that will help. Make it easier than the last one. You can see this is already starting to loosen up. So I've got a pretty good gap in there now. I want to get underneath into some of the other areas of the, the spindle here. And just work that out. Back and forth. Okay, so there it is. <clears throat> Spindle is off. You can see that edge around here that fit up into the other piece. Now we can pull off the dust pan and I can pull out my, my axle. So there you go, YouTube. Hopefully that helped.